Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be finally addressing and talking about something that you guys have been asking me about for years now. I've avoided this topic completely, but I have gotten thousands of comments, there have been news articles written about it, and there have been countless tweets that have gone ridiculously viral with hundreds and thousands of different likes on them, all asking, James, are you Dua Lipa? Now, I will say the public has never actually seen myself and Dua Lipa in the same place at the same time, so you can form your own opinions. <laughs> but we have seen a lot of Dua Lipa's iconic musical moments. And, believe that anything could stop. and we've also seen some of my less iconic musical moments. <laughs> So I think it is safe to say I unfortunately <laughs> am not Dua Lipa. But that being said, I've seen your tweets, I've seen your posts, sometimes I just don't see it, but there's other times where I'm like, oh my gosh, we look so, so similar. So for today's video, I thought it'd be super fun to try out something that I've never actually done before on my YouTube channel, and that is a celebrity transformation into Dua Lipa. Let's get started. Okay, you guys, I am so excited for this transformation today. Dua Lipa is by far one of my favorite pop stars right now. Her music is so good. She just keeps releasing bop after bop after bop after bop. I also think she is so stunning. Starting off, I popped on this fun little green turtleneck because she wears a lot of bright colors. And I also popped on my darker brown contacts because she has super dark eyes. The first step we're going to do before actually applying any makeup is something super fun, but I'm also a little bit nervous about, and that is face tapes. If you don't know what these are, these are a super like behind the scenes fun beauty hack that are used in a lot of Hollywood movies and on sets all the time. They are a tiny little plastic sheet and you stick it to your face and then you stick the other one to the other side and you pull and it gives you a super snatched look. So I thought this would be good for today's transformation because Dua does have a little bit more of a pulled eye than I do, which I love the look of. So we're gonna try this out for the first time. I actually watched one of my favorite makeup artists, Makeup by Harouche, do an entire video on these. So I'm going to try my best to apply these today. But if you guys want to, check these out for yourself. Check out Harouche's video. So I definitely want like a pull like there. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my God! That's so cool. Oh, a little facelift. Uh oh. So this hopefully will stick better now. Oh my god. This one looks a little wonk. That's one notch loser. That looks better. Okay, cool. I know these face tapes look absolutely insane right now, but don't worry, the makeup will go on over top of them and they won't be as noticeable. And then once the wig goes on, you won't even see them at all. These are not for everyday use. Although if you wanna be stashed all the time, be my guest. <laughs> I think this looks super cool, but it is now time to do all the makeup on top. Before we're doing this video today, I looked through Dua's entire Instagram page because I really wanna emulate her makeup style in the best way that I possibly can. And the one thing that I noticed is that she does always do a fun pop of color on the eyes, but for the base, it's honestly like kind of natural. She does always have like a little bit of a medium coverage foundation, a little bit of blush, a little bit of glow, but there's never too much contour, never too much under eye brightening. It's like kind of even, which is definitely very different from my typical makeup style, but I definitely want to emulate that today. So I'm going to grab the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. Oh, actually, I do want to color correct a tiny bit first, just because Dua Lipa is in fact a woman and I'm not. <laughs> and I have a five o'clock shadow and a three o'clock and a four o'clock. A 645 shadow as well. Now I'm gonna go into that foundation and just start buffing it into the skin. I'm actually gonna add just a little bit of the Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 210, which I know is a little bit darker than my natural skin tone. I did say that 2020 is gonna be the year of matching my foundation, but I do want to make this transformation as accurate as possible. And I feel like Dua is a little bit more tan than I am, so I wanna make sure that that is reflected. For concealer today, as always, I'm just gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape, but I'm only gonna put a little bit of this underneath my eyes where I have some slight discoloration, a little bit on or a lot of it on my beard area and then the center of the forehead and then i'm also going to use my brush to buff it in now before i go in and set this all in place with powder for bronzer today i'm actually going to grab a cream bronzer this is the soleil tan so oh gosh Soleil Tan de Chanel. And I'm gonna put this on in the same type of like shapes that I normally do because the one thing that is super similar about us is our facial structure. Oh my God, you literally can't even see the face tapes on camera. Whoa! And then just using a flat brush. This one is, I don't know, the label is rubbed off of it. I'm just gonna grab some Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and pat this in. So for contour today, as always, I'm just gonna grab my Anastasia contour kit and my M405 brush, but I'm going to 
literally use like none of this. I just want to kind of reinforce a little bit of that bronzer that I put on. It almost looks like she has like a little bit of like bronzer on her chin. Dare I even say like, at least in a lot of these photos it does. Huh. Now this nose contour, I'm scared about because Dua doesn't actually contour her nose. Like, at all. And if anybody's been watching my channel for more than approximately three minutes, you would know that nose contour is pretty much like the most vital step to my makeup routine. I love a pinched and snatched nose, but I'm not getting that in today's video. She definitely has a much more like, almost like triangular squared off nose tip, whereas mine is very round and bulbous. So although she doesn't nose contour, I am gonna try to add some of those shadows in to make my nose shape look a little bit more like hers. So I'm going to grab some of that powder and I'm going to run that along the bottom edge of my nose. Okay, that's like, ex Wow, that looks crazy. Okay, that's like exactly it though. I also gonna grab a little bit of that darker powder and I'm gonna make two dots like right above my nostril because she has this like shadow here in her nose. Before I jump into anything else, I'm gonna finish up the base. So for highlighter today, I'm gonna grab the Morphe Dimension Stick in the shade Effect One. I don't remember what video I use this in, but I have been using this so much since then. It is such a good cream highlighting formula. So I'm just going to kind of start drawing this on. And Dua definitely likes a lot of highlight in the center of her forehead, which I gotta respect it. Okay, and then for nose highlight, once again, it's very square. So I'm gonna draw in like a kind of straight line across the top of my nose. Now, the one thing that Dua does like to use a lot of in her looks is blush. And you guys know I've been obsessed with blush recently. This one is the brand new Kylie Cosmetics blush in the shade Pink Dreams. This color is stunning. So I'm going to apply this using my Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH06 brush. And I'm just going to put that right over top. Now we get to move on to the part of the look that I have been looking forward to since the beginning of this video, and that is Dua's eyebrows. She has super, super bushy, unruly brows, which I love so, so, so much. It is one of my favorite brow styles to do. Obviously, I have very, very thick brows myself, so this shouldn't be too hard to achieve, but I do want to add some hairs and make sure that they are nice and shaped. So I'm first going to go in with just a clear brow gel to brush the hairs upwards so I kind of know like which direction they're going to go in. For this look today, I'm going to grab my Urban Decay Brow Blade in the shade Dark Drapes because this product is actually dual ended and one end has a super, super tiny and sharp brow marker. Dual, dual ended. <laughs> I'm just adding in tiny little lines to make sure the brow is defined, but by doing it this way, I'm getting that bushy look without it being super, super structured. That looks so good. <gasps> Do I need to wear face tapes? Like always. <laughs> this is everything. What the heck? All right, you guys, so that is pretty much the brows all complete. I'm not even going to go in and conceal them because I am loving how they look right now, but I am going to go ahead and zoom you in so we can get started on the eyeshadow look. So for this look today, I'm going to do something green inspired by this photo of Dua from her new music video. Now I am personally not the biggest fan of green, but this green turtleneck happened to be one of the only colorful pieces that I own in my closet. So we're going to make do with what we got. <laughs> Make Dua. Make, oh my God. <laughs> so we're gonna make Dua with what we got. First grabbing my palette, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the dark green shade called Daddy on an M456 brush. And I'm gonna put this in the outer corner just to lay down a deep green on there. So next I'm gonna grab my Norvina palette and my M433 brush and dip into this shade right here, D3. And I'm just gonna lightly buff out that green. I'm not gonna take this eyeshadow color too high just making sure that it's nicely diffused. And now in my inner corner, I'm actually gonna pick up the Be Perfect Cosmetics X Stacey Marie palette and dip into this beautiful neon green shade called Ecstasy using another M456. And I'm gonna pop this shade right into my inner corner. Oh, yeah, whoa, that is, such a good color, oh my gosh. Oh my Lord. I'm also gonna tuck this color into my lower lash line as well, and then connecting it back up with a little bit of daddy. And then on the center of the lid, I'm just gonna grab the Morphe Pride Collection palette and then grab this metallic green shade, which is called Activism. And I'm just going to pop this right in the center of my lid. And then last but finally not least, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the Urban Decay Heavy Metals liner. This one is in the shade Gold Mine, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. And then I also have the shade Distortion. Mix them together. And then just with my finger, I'm gonna apply a little bit of this right to the center 
of my lid. Some nice glitters in there. Now it does look like Dua has a slight eyeliner on. So I am gonna grab my Tom Ford liquid liner and just add on a very, very tiny wing. Now for lashes today, from looking at Dua's photos, it honestly looks like she doesn't really do falsies kind of like ever. It seems like she just curls and does mascara, which I love. Unfortunately for me, after years and years of wearing falsies and ripping them out with glue, I do not have as beautiful lashes as I used to. So I'm just gonna grab a pair of Ardell Demi Wispies, which are like the tiniest, most natural looking lash ever. But hopefully this will add just a little bit of dimension back to my eyes. All right, you guys, and that is one eye all complete. This was super easy to put together. So I'm gonna go do the other one off camera quickly and I'll be right back for the rest of the transformation. All right, you guys, we are back. Both eyes are now done, and now we only have a few steps remaining before the final transformation. For my lips, I'm just going to go ahead and first take a makeup wipe and take off this excess cross. And then for lips today, Dua almost always does a just super light nude pink look. So I'm first gonna line my lips using the Morphe lip liner in the shade Backseat Love. Use code James for 10% off. All right, you guys, and that is officially the makeup portion of this Dua Lipa transformation all complete, but we have one very vital step left, and that is going to be the wig. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that on, hide the tapes, and show you guys the final look. Oh my god. That, that's it. That's Dua Lipa! Oh my god! Oh my god! Never. Oh, that's even her Oh, yeah. yeah. She, oh. oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Thinking about the way it was. Oh, so it's not good. <laughs> This is absolutely crazy. Holy crap. I've gotten the references. I've seen the similarities, but oh my God, you guys, I just did a full 180 crazy thinking about the way it was. Cause now I am literally Dua Lipa. Oh my gosh, you guys, this transformation was absolutely insane. Holy crap. Like if you think I care about you now, boy, I don't give a frick. I had so much fun Dua-ing this transformation today and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and show your love and support. It really means a lot. Also, please do a, me a favor and tweet a screenshot of this video to Dua Lipa herself. How iconic would it be? to actually do a video together talking about music, her career, and also turning us into twins. Like, literally. Hello? Also, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you guys want to see me do a, this type of video or transformation again. Let me know if there's any other celebrities that you guys want to see me transform into. If you have not already, don't forget to click that bigger subscribe button down below and come join the sisterhood. And also, click that bell icon so you get a notification every time I upload a brand new video. Also, I have a very, very special announcement for you guys. One of my biggest goals for 2020 was finding more ways to talk to you one-on-one -on -one when I'm not able to get to hug you in person at meet and greets and I found the perfect way to do so and that is by texting me. I know that sounds super crazy but texting is by far the most direct form of communication and we're all on our phones all day long so I figured this would be the perfect way to get to chat with you guys, tell you all about new videos, new Instagram photos, secret merch launches, special discount codes, and so much more. So if you guys want to send me a text you can message me at 310-905-8746. Talk to you soon. If you'd like to follow me on my social media journey. All my social medias are just Dua Lipa. <laughs> just kidding. My Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter are all just James Charles. And my Snapchat for more behind the scenes side stuff is James Charles, the next S after Charles. This video's sister shout out goes to sister Nicole. Thank you so much, love, for always following and supporting. You know, I love you so, so, so much. And if you would like to be the next video's sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet my video links, make a live on Twitter, and also turn on my YouTube post notifications. All right, you guys, that is all I have for this video today. And now I'm a Dua, you all a favor, and Lipa, you alone. <laughs> Bye!